So we're out here fishing on the Columbia River out west. Uh, in the fall season and winter season, we're looking for shallow uh, flats, shelf areas where the fish can get up in, in the evening time, early morning, get out of the current, rest and feed. Uh, and then as the sun comes up during the day or, or the clouds cut, cloud cover, however it is, uh, they tend to run a little deeper and they, if you can find an area that has that nice shallow five to ten foot shelf, sand in particular if you can find that, uh, that's right adjacent to a nice deep drop, a nice deep shelf uh, that drops into 30, 40, even 50 feet of water. Those fish tend to hang right at the bottom of the drop. They're trying to get out of the current, which in the Columbia River runs between 1.3 and 1.6 miles an hour on average, depending on what the dams are doing. Um, you might look at your maps, use your electronics. It may not necessarily be an inside corner or an outside corner uh, on the surface of the shoreline, but there may be an underwater island, underwater structure that creates that inside corner or outside corner against the current that those fish will sit in and rest against. Um, we also want to look and keep in mind, not all the time, but sometimes during the year when it rains heavy in the mountains or we get warmer weather, uh, it heats up in the spring, we get some mountain and snow melt and runoff, uh, and it tends to stain the water. So look for uh, edges of tributaries, uh, where the rivers come in, that type of thing, where there might be a, a mud line that you can fish that mud line. That uh, makes a big difference and those fish tend to hang right along that mud line. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to stay up to date with the latest tips and techniques to help you get the next bite.